In a West Wing rife with well-documented chaos, no area better embodied. Please help me to like and subscribe to grow our channel. A peek inside Trump's chaotic trade war. CNN just days before announcing the latest round of tariffs on Chinese imports, President Donald Trump caught sight of a distressing suggestion as he flipped through the morning papers. The sentence that said disturbed him, smack in the middle of the Wall Street Journal's front page. Noted, a steady rise in political pressure on his administration to ease the trade battles that have come to define his foreign policy and riven his team of advisors. Incensed, the president reached for Twitter to dismiss any notion that his administration was taking a conciliatory stance toward Beijing. We are under no pressure to make a deal with China, they are under pressure to make a deal with us, he tweeted. Our markets are surging, theirs are collapsing. We will soon be taking in billions in tariffs making products at home. If we meet, we meet. In a West Wing rife with well-documented chaos, no area better embodies Trump's duke it out whims than trade, particularly with China. The president has had long-standing, dogmatic conviction on trade policy and, according to multiple people close to the administration's internal deliberations, those views will not change. Now, as the president arrives in New York for the annual United Nations General Assembly, the U.S.-China trade war is looming larger than ever. Threatening to unsettle the global economy if the dangerous game of tit-for-tat between these two economic behemoths persists. In the days leading up to last week's announcement of new tariffs on 200 billion worth of Chinese goods, Trump obliterated the chances for a diplomatic solution sought by his Treasury Secretary. Instead, he upped the ante, and the prospect of negotiations to stave off another volley of tariffs between the two countries promptly fizzled. There is no scheduled U.S.-China negotiation at the moment, a senior White House official said on Friday. That doesn't mean it wouldn't happen. At the same time, his moves emboldened the administration's hardliners, who believe economic pain and an uncompromising stance on core U.S. demands are the only way to force Beijing to alter its trade practices. White House officials also insist the current strength of the U.S. economy gives the United States a prime opportunity to take a tough negotiating stance against China. Driving Trump, according to aides, is a persistent aversion to appearing weak, even in the face of dire warnings and political fallout. But he has also allowed internal divisions to persist, a management style he prefers, offering up uncertain negotiating territory and giving Beijing an opening to exploit divisions among the president's top economic advisors.